Hi, I'm going to be making a vitamin C serum. I use this serum on my face after cleansing twice a day. Um, since I'm making a new batch now, I'm going to show you how I make it. So the ingredients that you'll need are vitamin C powder. This one is from New Directions Australia. This is just 100 grams. Um, you don't need that much. So um, you'll probably use this about 20 times. So you can make 20 bottles of serum using um, 100 grams of this. You'll also need some ferulic acid. This is from Lotion Crafter. This is 25 grams, but for each bottle of 30 ml serum, you only need uh, half a gram. So this can last like 50 times, as long as it doesn't expire, but it doesn't. there's no expiry date on that. Another ingredient you'll need is sea kelp bioferment. Um, this is from Bulk Actives. This is 300 grams, and for each bottle of serum, you'll need two tablespoons, so 10 ml. Um, this would last for 30 bottles. You'll also need some alcohol or you could just get some vodka. This was just five dollars from uh, any liquor store. So this is to help dissolve the ferulic acid because ferulic acid doesn't dissolve in water. So you just need half a teaspoon of this. You will also need a tinted bottle with a, a dropper. So this is 30 mils. And you'll need two containers to mix your ingredients. Um, this one has some measurements on the side up to 50 mil. And you'll also need a little spoon to spoon out any of the ingredients. Another ingredient you'll need is vitamin E. Um, this is also from New Directions Australia. This is certified organic. This is 17 grams. You'll just need a few drops for each serum that you make. So this lasts quite a while. This one I bought at least a year ago and it expires this year in September 2014. Uh, the other ingredient you'll need is some distilled water, which you can just get from the supermarket. So the first step would be to dissolve the vitamin C powder in the, um, in the distilled water. So you'll, I'll just do that in this little plastic beaker. You'll need 5 grams of it to make it... 15% concentration of vitamin C. I use these uh, little one mil spoons, so I fill that up five times and I put it in the beaker. Doesn't have to be exact. But be careful of putting too much because if you put too much, the solution could be too strong and it can sting your face or even cause a bit of burning. So if you're not used to using vitamin serum, uh, vitamin C serum on your face, you might want to try a lower concentration first. Um, you might want to try 4 grams, which would make the concentration 12%, or 3 grams, which would make the concentration of vitamin C 9%. So this is the beaker filled up with uh, five grams of vitamin C powder. Um, vitamin C powder can also be called L-ascorbic acid. So uh, that's what it's called, ascorbic acid. Okay, so uh, now I'm adding distilled water to this mix. I'm adding three and a half teaspoons of water, which is about 17 mil. So since this is already filled up to about five mil, I'm going to pour it up till around 22 mils. Or even 20 mil if you don't want it to be too runny. If you like the 
serum to be thicker, you just use more sea kelp biofermant instead of more water. <coughs> Since I've got a lot of the sea kelp biofermant, I'll use that. And then you just need to mix this and let it sit for 10 minutes. So I'm just using this plastic mixer. Just mix it around and it takes a bit of time to dissolve. Depending on the brand that you use and how fine the powder is, uh, that will determine how long you have to let it dissolve for. You just mix it a little bit and then you let it sit and dissolve. So I'm going to let that sit first and while that is dissolving, in another container, I'm just using this one, it doesn't matter what container you use as long as it's strong enough for acid. I'm going to use put the ferulic acid into that container. I only need half a gram, so I'll only fill up one of these one mil spoons halfway. The reason I use ferulic acid is to help preserve the vitamin C in the serum. So I've got half a gram now in this container. And to that ferulic acid powder, I would add a small amount of the vodka. So half a teaspoon or less, just as much as you need to dissolve the powder. I try not to use too much alcohol in this because it could dry up my skin. So I just use as little as I need until it can dissolve that half mil of ferulic acid. So you could even use just one mil of this. So it's one mil of this vodka in your 30 mil serum. So you let that dissolve. So we see how it's just dissolving on in there. So once that is dissolved, or while it's dissolving, you can add the sea kelp bioferment. Um, so if you've added about 17 ml of water, then you'd add two teaspoons of this. So that's about 10 ml of this. And you could fill up this little thing 10 times and add it to the mix of the ferulic acid and the vodka. Sea kelp bioferment can be used on its own as well, just as a moisturiser. It doesn't leave your skin sticky. And it adds a more gel-like consistency to the serum, so it's not so watery. Um, as a substitute for sea kelp bioferment, you could use glycerin. Um, so two, two teaspoons of glycerin or you could use one teaspoon each of glycerin and sea kelp bioferment. So after you've added that sea kelp bioferment, you can mix it up with the ferulic acid and the alcohol. So it should be like a creamy, a creamy milky texture like that. And then to this mixture, you add a drop or just roughly a few drops of vitamin E. This is natural vitamin E. So I just add that much. And so this is a bit brown. This is a brown 
it looks like honey. So I just mix that in with this. And I would still have after this and well after the vitamin C is all dissolved, then I would mix this with this. So I I normally just pour this into here because this one's a bit easier to wash than this container. So it's not totally dissolved yet. I probably still have to wait another five minutes. So while I'm waiting, I'll just pack up a bit. So I started using vitamin C serum on my face about at, well, at least a year ago and vitamin C is good for clearing up blemishes and helping with uh, uneven pigmentation on your face or anywhere else on your skin and it's quite expensive to buy it in the store which is why I just make my own so for a 30 ml bottle you could be paying at least $30 if not a lot more than that so you can buy the ingredients themselves for um, for a, a much smaller amount of money but then you can make a lot of bottles of it and I find that one bottle of 30 ml serum for me if I use it twice a day on my face and maybe on my arms as well uh, once a day or once every few days one bottle will last me about one month so I just get through one of these per month so um, I use it in summer as a substitute for moisturizer because I have oily skin but then in winter it's not as oily so I could use the vitamin C serum and then put like a light moisturizer over that um, I found that since using the vitamin C serum along with eating a healthy diet of more fruits and vegetables and staying low fat and vegan my skin has cleared up a lot. I used to have very bad acne um, from when I was from when I was 22 till 24, and I became vegan. Uh, I think it was from when I was 24, so four years ago, uh, in 2000 and. 2011 I think beginning of 2011 I became vegan and my skin cleared up a lot but I still had um, like some scarring from the pimples that I used to have but my skin is a lot better now from eating healthy so you can see I don't have any foundation on um, the only fake stuff I've got on are these uh, eyelash extensions and I got a bit of lip balm but other than that, I have no makeup, and my skin is quite smooth. Um, it's better than when I was a teenager. Um, so I try not to use foundation because it can. Well, I just don't like using a lot of products on my face because uh, it can bring out like fine lines. It would, like when I swell, if I'm using like a lot of powder, it adds to the fine lines. So I like to look as natural as possible with my skin and I only wear makeup on special occasions like um, like going to parties or going to a special event okay so the serum uh, the, the vitamin C and water mixture is still getting dissolved so still a bit of time Um, I can't remember exactly where I bought these bottles from, but I bought, I think I bought a six pack of these and you can recycle them. You don't have to use a new bottle every time you make the serum. You could, um, like wash it out and then use it again. But I like using new bottles every few months because it does get a bit sticky and like have residue even after you wash it. 
So I, I use it a, one bottle a few times for each new batch of serum that I make, but then I use a new bottle just to keep things fresh. Um, oh yeah, as I said, you can substitute glycerin for the sea kelp biofermate, but the glycerin tends to make the solution more sticky. So the glycerin that I got is also from New Directions Australia. This is 100 grams. So glycerin is quite cheap and you could use it if you're making your own body lotions or um, other DIY things. The glycerin has a multitude of uses. You could use it in a face mask if you wanted instead of honey. So it's basically the same thing except without the sugar. Um, not that I really care about sugar being on my face. Um, let's put this away. Right. Let's prepare this bottle. Open it up. Okay, so it's been at least 10 minutes already. It's quite a long video on how to make vitamin C serum. 